Okay, in this video here, we're going to mount the Lee Auto Breach Lock Pro Progressive Reloader. And once I get it mounted, we'll kind of take a look at what comes in the box by itself, and I'll give you a better explanation. Um, we're going to mount it on this stand, and we'll go and I'll take a look, and I'll show you what my plan is for mounting this. Okay, this is what I'm going to use. This is a Lee product. I bought this years ago, the stand, and they advertise it for quick changing of uh, your reloading tools and everything else. It's a basic stand, and I added the boards on there uh, myself. So all you'd get is this. And what you do is take these wooden triangles or whatever, and you'd mount your reloading equipment to it. They send you one with this stand. And it's, this is three-quarter inch plywood. And they had this clamp system. So you're supposed to loosen the bolts, be able to slide this in and out, and lock it in, <coughs> and quick change your reloading equipment. Well, the blocks they send you are a tad bit bigger, and they had some little screws in here, uh, the way it was set up. I found them, I broke them off, the screws broke. This clamp system really does not work well, okay? Now they sell a plate that you can put on this thing to mount this, but this isn't what I'm going to do. I've changed it and put these huge bolts on there and tried using it. This thing has been sitting in my basement for like two or three years, and there's no use for it, so I'm going to get a little aggressive. I'm going to take this chunk of wood, which I cut up, I'm going to mount the press to this block of wood then I'm going to tap it in with a mallet and lock it into this these clamps and then I'm going to shoot right through the wood in this plate and I'm going to put two more bolts you know off on this wooden block and then clamp that down then it should move so that's the game plan and once I get to that point we'll come back and see you can mount this just on a bench uh, with quarter inch bolts, but I got this stand and it's just sitting there, uh, you know, used reloading equipment is worthless. So I'm going to try to use this stand and mount the press to it. Then we can take a good look at the press. So I'll get back to you once I've uh, completed this task. Okay, here we have it mounted to this bench that I had. Like I said, I kind of didn't like the bench, didn't use it, but it's been sitting around, so <clears throat> I decided what the hell. Now, I kind of got aggressive with it. What I did was wedge that wooden block there, and I shot right through the wooden block and the plate, and this thing is bolted right down to this uh, stand. Now, you can mount this on a bench, you know, drill the holes, and also with this here, it had an area to put this uh, the little clamp there. You can put that there uh, for the plastic container, and I bolted this on. This also comes with wood screws, so if you're mounting this like on a wooden table or bench, you can still screw that on there, and that's when your bullets kick out they will uh, fall into the plastic container. Now you see how the handle is. <clears throat> what I'm going to do in this video, I'm going to follow the instructions <clears throat> and get to the point and show you what you end up with because we're going to have to move the handle and uh, as you see there's no shell plate. There's no shell plate that comes with this. So when you buy this for $109, or uh, hold on a second, let me see what I paid. All right, I paid $109.99 or $110, bucks, and with shipping, it come out to $122. And the thing got here like in three, four days. The other distributors are selling them $106, $107, uh, but they were all sold out. So I did find a company that had this. So as you notice, there's no shell plate with this. But what you do get with the breech lock 
is there's four of the normal ones. Then this style here, which I bought some extras because I kind of like it, um, that you can lock without that ring with an Allen wrench. You got a lock ring built right into the top. And I kind of like this better because even though the lead dies are good, their lock ring, like with this, uses like a rubber gasket or a yeah, rubber O-ring. And then you got to tighten it down with a wrench. This here I kind of like to where, you can see that lock, turn it and locks in. I can set the die, clamp it down, it won't move, and then just, you know, remove it, reinstall it. That's one of the reasons why I bought this. Like I said, I'm not really a fan of progressive reloaders, but I'm going to make a series of videos. We're going to go one, one by one uh, with working with this machine. I'm kind of nervous because everything here is plastic. Uh, you know, even this. The aluminum looks a good quality. Steel pinion in that. The handle looks solid. This is a solid piece here. But all your internals in here, you know, are all kind of plastic. And you got that there. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is we'll go through the basic instructions on what to do to set this up the primer tube and that and then I'm going to stop because this is all that you get the wrenches and the two priming arms this is kind of all that you get with this you know for your hundred and twenty dollars and hundred nine dollars then you got to start buying stuff and there's a whole slew of accessories um, and I'll go over them in a video. I have some coming, and uh, in each video I'll cover a different thing. But so far, so good. Uh, like I said, let me set it up. We'll get the uh, handle straightened out and get the primer tube uh, installed. Okay, and going by the instructions. These were the instructions if you watched the first video, they were on the tag inside the machine. And the first step kind of gives you a guide. You got a template on there to drill the holes. The next step is getting the handle straight. You need a half inch wrench. So I have a half inch box end wrench. And basically what you do is you loosen this nut right there. And then this controls the tension on this handle. So you rotate the handle around to where it's out of the way. I don't know if you can see it where it's straight now instead of over the dies. So you get your handle there and then just tighten it down. Like that. Okay, so now your handle is in the proper position. So that's step number two. Don't check that. Okay, then down here in the back is where your uh, primer catch tube. And it's kind of tricky. I'll have to, I'm going to try to zoom in because there's a hole here upwards in the back. This is kind of confusing to me, but I got it. And there's a nylon thing right here. Let me reposition the camera. Okay, I think this is about the best we're going to get. But if you notice here, there's this ring and it has like a, a wider end on it. That goes down over this. There's a hole in the back. Not in the bottom, in the back here, right about where my finger is, can't see it. And what you have to do is you kind of fold up these little plastic lips or whatever. You go into here, you lift this up. I'll lift it up, hold it there. And then you kind of stick this into the hole. 
so that it'll catch the primer. You stick that in a hole and then slide this down and you, you will see where it'll line up. I'm trying. And this little ring kind of locks the thing into the shaft. Yeah, there it is. There, locks down like that. And see, when you come up and be prime, you catch it in the tube. Okay, so that's installed. And that was step number three. Okay, so that's what we look like all uh, set up. Handle in the correct position, not in the way. Primer tube to catch the spent primers. And that's it. It's about all you get right at the moment. And like I said, you get three of the regular ones and one uh, the split ring, or you can tighten with an Allen wrench uh, breech. Lock deals, and that's it. And you get, like I said, the uh, plastic tray, and that's it. Two Allen wrenches. That is all you get, and instructions. That's all you get with the initial press. Um, you know, you have to mount it to a bench. And I'm going to stop the video here because this is just getting it mounted. Because uh, from now on, now to go any further in setting this up, this is where you got to buy stuff. The shell plates, um, and I'll explain that when we install it, and dies. So now you're at a point where you got to start spending more money. And I'll kind of get this thing set up basically. And one by one, I'll explain all the different add-ons. But this is it for the initial buying the press. The rest of it now is going to cost you extra.